Welcome to Well.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG. We're doing a follow-on series on how to certify a welder, a person, with the D17.1 specification. Now, just so you know what that specification is, it's primarily an aerospace certification for welding operators. Now, it can also be used for various other industries, but it's one of the top scale certifications. So if you or somebody in your company wants to certify, you may be in motorsports, you may be in fine tubular type uh, welding. Uh, anyway, we're gonna show you how to certify. And we're gonna start off with this particular certification is a tubular, uh, it's 6061 T6. So what you're gonna need for your certification are gonna be these four pages. We've extracted them out of the D17.1 book. Uh, so if you wanna get this, we've got some people that have helped us package this, and we'll give you information a little bit later. But it starts off with, the, the first page is a uh, qualification test record. You have to have that because you're gonna need to fill this all out. Eventually, you're gonna take this to a certified lab. Uh, so that's uh, page nine in the D17.1. And it'll identify everything that you're doing as far as is this a sheet or is it a tube? What position are you gonna be welding in? And you have to identify that. Now, always do it in a more difficult position. In many, many cases, you're only gonna be in the flat or the 1G position. But you know, if you have to weld vertical up, you need to certify in vertical up. So you need this page. It's a qualification test record. Okay, the next page, it really just tells you the groups that you're going to be dealing with. And there are several groups here. This happens to be aluminum 6061. And you look in here and you can see that it's non-heat treatable. I'm sorry, it is heat treatable alloys. It's group four. So you need to write that down on your documentation. So we go to the next one. Uh, this one's called a WPS, it's a weld procedure specification. And it has all the details of how you welded it. Did you use a TIG torch, did you use an air cooled? What's the uh, tungsten diameter? What's the stick out? How much gas did you use? What filler did you use? You need to trace all of that. And that's what this sheet is all about. So you, the operator, have to fill that out completely. And then finally, we get into a, it's called a procedure qualification record. Now this also goes with the package and it goes to the lab. Now the lab's gonna look at this and you have to, as the quality control person, you have to dictate what testing you wanna have done. And every material is a little bit different and every application is different. So you gotta look at your contract and I would look at this and if I were certifying for motorsports, here's how I would do it. I would take a look at this and I'd say, okay, what's the qualification? Once I pass this, what thicknesses can I weld? And there's a formula called 0.67T to 4.0T. So this is 049 wall thickness. It will allow me, once I pass this test, it'll allow me to cover the range of 032 wall thickness all the way up to 196 thousandths wall thickness. So use that formula when you decide what thickness you're gonna to certify to. Okay, now that you've got that figured out, this all has to go to the lab. I would recommend, first of all, it's aluminum, so mag particles out. Uh, typically, you're going to get a fluorescent penetrant inspection on this. Now, all wells get visual inspected. They look for undercut. They look for cold lap, uh, it just defects in the surface of the weld, porosity, things like that. Cracking, absolutely not acceptable. So anytime you're, you're rating the type of welding, you've got to take a look at the stress level. So you'll see category one or level one, two, and three. Level one is the highest stress aerospace uh, criteria. So in, in almost every case, that gets x-rayed. Uh, X-ray doesn't tell you the whole story, and so in many cases, I recommend that you go to what's called a Class B. And a Class B will be the visual, the penetrant, and then the, the lab will actually cut into it and take a look at the weld nuggets, see if you got penetration. So 90% of the time, you're going to want to deal with a Class B, and that's what we're going to demonstrate to you today. Now, I've got a machine here. It's an ACDC machine. I would have to identify every, every parameter on the sheet that I'm using. So uh, I'm gonna put my gear on and I'm gonna weld up this cluster and show you what it should look like. Okay, when, whenever you do a cluster, it's probably best you, you do the 90 degree one first because eventually you have to put in the 45 degree angle. So I welded this all the way around. It doesn't matter what position you get into because you're gonna have to manipulate around. It, it's tubular, so it, it's basically all position. So figure out the best way for you. 
make a complete weld, and now the second part of this is we're going to put the 245s in position. And all it's doing is it's testing your skill of being able to tie in to the root of your weld. So I'll, I'll do that next. I'll put the 245s in and finish the welding on this. Okay, now that I've put the 45 degree uh, mitered sections in, welded it all the way around, now what you have to do is just focus in, do a visual inspection, make sure you don't have any low undercut. Now, you'll take this entire sample and you'll take all your paperwork and you'll send it to a lab. And we're going to provide you labs here in the near future so you'll have a choice. Anyway, uh, it's probably going to require a visual penetrant and just make sure that your lab buys it off. It uh, typically is going to be an AWS certified person that buys it off. So I just want you to know that we did this with a machine. It's a, this is a very low cost ACDC machine. And you'll probably notice that I put a Mr. Tig series sticker on it. Now what that means is it says Mr. TIG approved. So we test a lot of machines and this particular machine is a very low cost machine. It's an ACDC machine and if you go to buy one of these make sure it has that sticker on it. I don't care if it looks like it, it's got to have that sticker. Now what we've done is we've upgraded the machines. When I say upgraded, we've upgraded the accessories. So the power supply is the same. What you'll see is the performance of the machine gets better. We put on a super flex cable you'll notice that I had a flex head torch. Uh, and to get into some of those areas, you need the flex head torch. And we put the right accessories. We have a little TIG kit that gives you the tungsten, the collet bodies, the gas lenses, things like that, and this little adapter. Now, the other thing we put on is we put on a very nice uh, regulator, an argon regulator with a flow meter on it, so you can adjust it very finely. So just know that's the reason that we put that Mr. TIG sticker on. So. If you're interested in it, you can look at the show notes at well.com. Thanks for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.